Hey kids, it's me again. In this video, we will learn two methods on how to credit interest once you have invested your money in a fund. Okay, let's start. Okay, to discuss the two interest allocation methods, we consider the following table. Let me explain the values that you see here. It is the first column. Here are the values of Y. Ano yung Y? Y is the calendar year of original investment. When you say calendar year, it is from January 1 to December 31. Then we have these values, okay? They are in percentage, okay? So, kunyari ito 8.25%, ito 8.70%. You call these rates as investment year rates, okay? And then finally, we have the last column here, okay? So we call these rates as portfolio rates. So how do we use this table to allocate our credit interest? Okay, let's discuss further. So mag-focus tayo sa mga values na ito. Okay? So we consider the calendar year 1992. Okay? Tapos as you can see, here are our notations for investment year rates. So, yung mga Y dito, palitan nyo ng 1992. Yung I1, 1992, ibig sabihin, ito yung rate, ito yung interest rate na gagamitin para sa investment mo. Okay? Yung I2, 1992, ibig sabihin, nasa second year ka na, at ito yung gagamitin interest rate, 8.25. Okay? Again, 1992 pa rin yung year dito. Ibig sabihin, no, nag-start ka ng investment mo, Nung year 1992, and this is your second year. So parang ganito. Ito yung year 1992, ito year 1993, 1994, 1995, 1996. Okay? So limang taon na investment year rates ang gagamitin doon sa investment mo nung 1992. Okay? Hindi pa laging 5 ha? So depende. So in this example, we have a 5-year segregation period. Okay? Ibig sabihin, limang taon kayo nakahiwalay from the main fund. And then after five years, saka kayo ilalagay or isasama doon sa main fund. So, nang ibig sabihin, kapag nahalo na kayo sa main fund, portfolio rates will now be applied to your investment. Okay? So, tama lang. Di ba? Kanina, ito yung 1992, 1993, 1994, 1995, 1996, Ito ay 1997. Tama? Kasi palitan niyo yung Y ng 1992. So you'll have 1992 plus 5, you'll get 1997. Actually, ito yung mga years na nire-represent nila. Here. So ibig sabihin yung I1 1992, that's the year 1992. Yung I2 1992, that's year 1993. Yung I3 1992, that's 1994. Okay? And so on. Tapos ito, this is your I, 1997. Walang subscript ang portfolio rate. Okay? Let's continue. More on this table. Do you see this? Okay? Itong mga naka-red. Okay? Ito yung I sub 1 Y. They are new money rates or starting rates. Okay? sila yung ibinibigay na beginning rate sa mga new investor. And they are usually competitive rates. Why? To attract new investors. Okay? Tingnan nyo. Compare nyo to. Ano nga ulit ito? This one. Diba ito ay rate? Ito ay portfolio rate. Okay? In the year 1997. So you imagine you are a new investor in the year 1997. So kung new investor ka, hindi 8.35 ang ibibigay sa iyo. Okay? Kung ang i-apply ay investment year rate. So hanapin niyo dito ang year 1997. Ayun, eto. This one, 9.5. So if you are a new investor in the year 1997, sa unang taon mo bibigyan ka ng 9.5%. You see? You imagine compared sa portfolio rate na 8.35. Now, bakit mababa? Bakit mas mababa ang sa portfolio rate? 
kasi yung mga rates are being affected by the low performing investments in the past. Okay? Kaya usually mabababa yung um, interest rates. Okay? Pero bakit ulit matataas usually ang mga starting rates or new money rates to attract more investors? Yeah? Okay, let's do more. Sige nga, can you give me different interest rates for the year 1997? Meron na tayong alam na dalawa, right? Eto. Okay, itong I-1992 plus 5 kasi it's I-1997. It's 8.35. Diba? Alin pa yung alam natin? Eto. Etong 9.5%. Eto yung beginning rate or new money rate or starting rate when you are a new investor during this year, 1997. Right? Okay. Sige nga, magbigay pa kayo ng iba pang interest rates for the year 1997. Pwede dito. Kung nag-invest ka noong 1996, ito yung para sa 1996, ito ay 1997. Okay? More. Okay? Ito sa 1995. Diba ito yung for the year 1995? 1996? Ito yung 1997. Okay? Ang ibig sabihin nito, you were a new investor during 1995 and this is your third year. Okay? And then you see a pattern. Okay? Ito pa yung dalawa pang interest rates for the year 1997. So, para lang siyang stairs. Okay? So, if I ask you to get different interest rates for the year 2001, all you have to do is to start here at 9.00%, tapos gawa lang kayo na stairs like this. Okay? Yan yung iba't ibang interest rates for the year 2001. Of course, make sure that you know how to use the notations. For example, ano yung tamang notation for this rate? 9.80%. It is I4-1998. Okay, ayan o. Okay? Now, let's answer this example. Okay, of course, using the given table of interest rates. Okay? So, a man deposits 1,000 on January 1, 1997. Okay? Okay? And then we are going to get the accumulated value of this 1,000 on January 1, 2,000 using different methods. Okay? So maybe it's nice to have a time diagram like this. Okay? So in invest yung 1,000 on January 1, 1997. And then kukunin natin ang accumulated value at this point, January 1, 2,000. Okay? So nakita nyo? Tatlong taon naka-invest yung 1,000. Okay. First method, the investment year method. During this time, you were a new investor. So you look for the starting rate or the new money rate for the calendar year 1997. Okay. So nasaan siya dito? Okay. Ito siya. Okay. And then, yung sunod na taon, ito. Okay? Ito na yung gagamitin naman, 9.5%. Ito na yung second year ng investment noong 1997. And then finally, ito naman yung para sa third year. So these are the interest rates that you are going to use to find the accumulated value of 1,000. Next method is the portfolio method. Using again this time diagram, okay? Diba? Ito yung unang taon. Okay? It's year 1997. So, nasan ba dito ang portfolio rates? etong last column. Nasan dito ang year 1997? Okay? So, you do like 1997 minus 5. So, it's 1992. So, dito kayo hahanap ng portfolio rate. Ito yun. Okay? So, that one. So, ito yung gagamitin yung interest rate for the first year. Next year. Okay? Ito naman. It's year 1998. Okay, again, portfolio rate ang gagamitin ninyo. So it's like 1998 minus 5 kasi 5 year ang segregation period. Okay, so we have 1993. Okay, so dun sa 1993, ito ang corresponding portfolio rate. So we use this rate. And then finally, for the third year, 
it's year 1999. Okay? So, 1999 minus 5, we have 1994. So, we use this rate. Okay? So, ito naman ang mga interest rates na gagamitin ninyo to find the accumulated value of 1,000 invested on January 1, 1997. Now, let's consider this method. Okay? The balance is withdrawn at the end of every year and is reinvested at the new money rate. Okay? So, let's take a look at this time diagram again. So, sa first year, okay, so ikaw ay new investor. Ibig sabihin, new money rate or starting rate ang ibibigay sa yung interest rate. So, that's why 9.5% ang gagamitin natin because this is the new money rate during this calendar year. Ngayon, after one year, i-withdraw mo yon. Tapos, i-deposit mo ulit. So, ibig sabihin, you are again a new investor during the year 1998. So, hahanapin mo yung new money rate or starting rate for the calendar year 1998. So, nasaan siya dito? Diba, ito yon 10%. And then, by the end of the year, okay, i-withdraw mo ulit, tapos, i-reinvest mo. So, bagong investor ka naman. You're, you're a new investor again. So, that means, the new money rate will be applied to your investment again. Okay? Kasi bagong investor ka na naman during this time. So, nasaan siya dito? Ito yung mga new money rates. So, it's year 1999. So, ito yung gagamitin. Okay? So, we use these rates naman to get the accumulated value of 1,000 after 3 years under this method. To summarize our answer, okay, again, under this method, the investment year method, we use the following rates. Okay? And then under portfolio method, we use these rates. Notice that kapag investment year method, you move horizontally. Okay? Like this. You use the rates in this way. Horizontally. Okay? Kapag portfolio method, you move vertically. Pababa. Okay? And then lastly, we have this method, special method. Okay? And then we use this rates. Again, hindi lang ito yung mga methods available. Okay? Actually, pwedeng after two years, saka pa i-withdraw and then i-reinvest at the new money rate. Pwede rin yun. Okay? Actually, you don't really have to find the accumulated value. Kasi ang question lang naman dito, determine the ranking of P, Q, and R. Okay? Without computing the values, you can easily determine which method will give us the biggest accumulated value. Okay? Alin dyan? E di ito, yung naka-color pink. Kasi siya yung may pinakamataas na interest rates. Okay? So, si R yung pinakamalaki. Followed by etong blue. Okay? Ang pinakamaliit, itong nasa orange. Yeah? Okay. So, that's why this is our final answer. Okay? So, kinumpit ko na rin para makita ninyo. Okay? Okay. Let's have a quick recap of what we've learned in this video. Okay? So, we learned two methods on how to credit interest. Right? Okay? We have the portfolio method and the investment year method. And then what is a portfolio method? Here, all investors in the fund earn the same interest rates. Okay? So walang special interest rates na ibibigay kay new investor ka or old investor ka. So magkakasama kayo sa isang fund and you will be earning the same interest rate. What is the advantage of this method? It is very straightforward and very simple to implement. Okay? Wala nang hassle kasi basta mag-invest ka, sasama ka doon sa main fund and you will be having or you will be enjoying the same interest rates as the old investor. What is the problem with this method? Usually kasi mababa ang portfolio rates compared to investment year rates. Okay? Nakita nyo naman kanina. Why? Kasi naapektuhan yung portfolio rate by the lower yielding investments made in the past. And please don't forget our notation for portfolio rates. Ganito lang siya. It's an I and then nasa taas yung year. Year kung kailan i-apply yung interest rate na ito. What about this method? 
the investment year method. Okay? Dito naman, every new investor merong special interest rate. Okay? Meron tayong tinatawag na starting rate or new money rate. And then there's a segregation period. Okay? And during that period, hindi pa nakahalo yung mga bagong investors doon sa main fund. And usually, matataas ang interest rates during this period, during the segregation period. What is the advantage? Okay, this method attracts new deposits or investments. Why? Because they give competitive interest rates. Right? Okay. So what's the problem with this method? Okay, kasi nga, tinitingnan yung mga new investors each year mas complicated itong i-apply compared to portfolio method. Kasi kapag portfolio method, kahit new investor ka, you will be directly put into the main fund tapos kung ano yung portfolio rate, yun na yung i-apply sa'yo. Okay? Unlike kapag nga investment year method, bawat taon, titingnan nila yung mga new investor and they will be given this special interest rates. Yeah? So that's why it's more complicated. And then finally, do not forget this notation if we are dealing with investment year rates. Yung K, ito yung bilang ng taon mo sa investment fund. Tapos yung Y, ito naman yung magsisignify kung kailan ka nag-start ng investment mo. Okay, I think that's it. I hope you learned something from this video. See you on my next video.